Lesson 9.12, Problem Solving, Draw to Join Shapes. We use the strategy Draw a Picture to solve problems by joining different shapes to form new shapes. We're going to quickly introduce trapezoid and rhombus, but we really learn these in first and second grade. We can use several triangles that are the same size and shape to create new shapes. If we use two triangles, we can make a rhombus. This is a rhombus. We can put one triangle here. We can put another triangle here like this, putting their sides together. And we can make a new shape, this rhombus. And if we use three triangles, we can make a trapezoid. This shape is a trapezoid. We put a triangle here, put another one like this, so it looks like it's upside down. We put another one like this, and putting these three triangles together, we make this trapezoid. And we can take six triangles, and we can make a hexagon. We've got one, two, borrow these, three, four, five, we need one more, we can use this one, and we squeeze them together, and we've made this hexagon. So we can join smaller shapes, like the little green triangles, together to make larger shapes. We can use several squares that are the same size to make new shapes. So here we've got several squares, and we can use two squares. We'll put one here, and we'll put its side on the bottom together with another square side on the top. We'll put them together and we make a rectangle. And we can use four squares to make a larger square. One, two, three, four. We'll put four squares together and we make a larger square. And we can put six squares together to make a rectangle. If we went like this, we have six squares. Now we have a rectangle like this. And we could even put more squares on and make a bigger rectangle. We could keep going. So we made a rectangle with two squares if we trace around the outside, we'll see the rectangle has four sides, one, two, three, four, and four square vertices, one, two, three, four. And if we trace around the outline of our hexagon that we made with the six triangles, we trace all the way around, we'll see that it has six sides, one, two, three, four, five, six, and it has six vertices, one, two, three, four, five, six. We put three triangles together to make this red shape. This is called a trapezoid. If we put six triangles together, we can make two trapezoids, see? put six of them together, we make two trapezoids, and two trapezoids will make a hexagon. We can join smaller shapes together to make larger shapes. Here are two triangles that are alike. If you look, this triangle has a square corner and this triangle has a square corner. They have a corner like a square. We can put them together to make a rectangle. If I put this one like this, I can turn this one and put them together like that, and we can make a rectangle. We needed to spin them around 
to make the rectangle, we can use two triangles with a square vertex to make a larger triangle. But we'll need to flip one of the triangles over to do this. It won't work if they're facing the same direction. We need to flip one of them over like that so that it looks like this one then we'll be able to put them together to make a larger triangle. We can put their straight sides together like that and we make a larger triangle. Can't do it when it's like this. We had to flip it around so we could put their straight sides together. And it won't work if we use triangles that don't have a square corner. These have a square corner, that's why it worked. Here we have two triangles, but they don't have a square corner like these. If we put two straight sides together, oh, that's not a triangle. We actually made a shape called a rhombus. We made this shape. A tangram is a seven-piece puzzle in a square shape. And the seven pieces can be moved around and rearranged to make the shape of a bird, a rabbit, a cat, a house, a boat, a swan, even a rocket ship. We can move these pieces around to make these puzzles. And there's a printable image of a tangram in the Joanne School Facebook photo section in the Geometry album, and you'll be able to make these. So you can try to join some smaller shapes together to make larger shapes. We're going to be doing Chapter 10 next, and that's about three-dimensional shapes. I hope you'll join me, and I hope you have a great day. Bye. Remember to hit the like button.